Right now we're at 103. About 20 to 30 of them sleep in bed with us at night. We handle abandoned, neglected, abused, blind, deaf, missing limb. We are a sanctuary for special needs chihuahuas. I've pulled them out of the shelters as they're getting euthanized. We try our best to give them everything we can. Great food, proper medical care, and of course, playtime. Like there's a lot of playing and lounging around here. I'm Bobby Humphreys. I am the founder of uh, Big Guy Little's World Sanctuary. And I'm an animal lover. I love dogs. They're the most amazing dog breed I've ever met in my life. We do. In fact, how we do it. It does you all. Their love and everything is just incredible. Unfortunately, with all the medical conditions and ages, a lot of them do pass away. I lose about six to eight a year, which kills me, but unfortunately that's just the way it is. But I wanted to give them something I never had, and that's like, I promise you that you'll never hurt again. So if you come here, I'll take care of you and give you the best life I possibly can, which we've tried to do here. I do get a lot that come along where the owners died. There's three of them, they gotta stick together. Two of them have medical conditions. One's blind. So you're trying to dip down, where are you going? I want to keep those dogs together. Got a little bit large to where I can't I take them on lavish vacations to the beach every weekend. All right, guys, here we go. It's time. Everybody, let's go. Come get them, babies. Since the dogs have been here, if I ripped out all the hardwood on the main level, replaced it with porcelain tile, there's no dining set. There's no real actual living room set. We had to eliminate the normal walk of life. I've taken all of the cabinetry out and I've replaced them with these cubby systems. They can use the cubbies for their comfort. Some dogs prefer that they feel or mentality. And of course the backyard, I have almost three acres. I fenced in, like in the middle of it, this ugly stockade fence, really tall, so that they had an area to run that was safe. You guys come in that house? Hi, sweethearts. What's all my babies doing? And I turned it almost looks like an amusement park back there. We got a big water slide for them and um, trampolines and all kind of neat stuff. So I've done some remodeling. <laughs> I have bad days, but three days. Every once in a while, one of them will go off on another one, which causes a little chaos. And almost to me, that's like a bully scenario, and I don't like that. For the most part, if I'm ever like a little frustrated with them, it's because of an outside influence in the real world, but I never actually get tired of them. For the most part, of the 100 plus dogs here, we keep it as clean as we possibly can. The staff is consistent on keeping everything clean. Stay safe. Hi, Ryan. The adoption system and forfeit going from foster home to foster home. And it never ends up great. So I promised these dogs that they never have to deal with that again. 